What will you do to help the people stuck here right now? Uh, I'm going to speak to the Hungarian authorities tomorrow morning and uh, as we have been doing in the last several days and uh, we'll, try, we'll try as much as we can to uh, advocate their right for free passage and to let them reunite with their families that already, some of them already went through. So I'm going to try as much as I can uh, to persuade my Hungarian colleagues uh, to allow them to continue their journey. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to provide some food, medicines, water, uh, and uh, to try to <coughs> react as we did in the last several months, as humanely as possible. That, that's the best that we can do. There's talk there are other buses going towards the Croatian border. Is that something you, you're able to confirm? <coughs> Not yet, since uh, this is only the first 24 hours since there was a closure of the border line, so it's difficult to say whether they're going to be a new migration towards Romania or Croatia or some third place, but we'll know more in the next 48, 48 hours. And finally, do Serbia have a contingency plan if this border doesn't open? Yeah, we have several plans. We have spoken to mm -hmm. you, but this is uh, there is no plan that can be solved only in Serbia, because Serbia didn't blame any, anyone for this crisis, we didn't create the crisis, and uh, uh, our job is to make, of course, the Serbia as, as safe as possible, but also to care about these people and show that we are humane enough. Uh, but this is a European problem. This is not something that can be easily solved, not even in one country of Europe, and especially in, in Serbia, who is one of the smallest European states. Thank you. Hello. <coughs> Serbia is under a lot of pressure, under most question. pressure uh, in this crisis. And what is your comment to this? Can you maintain the security and safety yes, for absolutely. everyone? Yes, absolutely. We have created a secure and safe country. And in the last year and a half, since the migra migrant route started to go uh, more intensively through Serbia, there were almost no incidents, but the migrant population was really peaceful and passing through Serbia and domestic population, so I don't see any reason why that shouldn't continue.